this is where the water ran through our wall and does run through our wall. And I'm going to follow the whole path of this water where it comes from. It goes around this wall. So the water automatically finds the lowest spot. It has washed this out through the years. We actually had this built up to keep water away from our home. But through the last two or three years, every rain that we have that's, that's steady, it washes down through here. Right here is a drain that my wife and I put in several years ago, probably eight or ten years ago, to accept the water. And as you can see, it's washed down below the drain now. It doesn't even collect water anymore. We're used to, we had it built up high enough where the water would just run in this drain and it would stay away from our home. Now the water is getting back over here against our window, against our home again. And as you can see, all the way up through here, it's routed a ditch. And then right here in front of our front porch, it has washed away. This water damage from last night actually flooded my son's room because this has washed all of our protection away from our home. What we spent on pine needles through the years is hundreds, hundreds of dollars. Because every time we have a rain, this is what happens. It washes it up in piles and washes it away. And for scale, this is about three, three and a half feet wide path of water that came down through here last night. We have a drain up here. It's not designed for that type of heavy rain. I'm going to have to dig this drain back out today. Because as you can see, all this mud that washes from our flower beds and off the hill from the neighbors comes down, fills up my drain. I have to dig it out to keep it from stopping up pipes that run. This is a four inch line, handles water the majority of the time, unless we just have a real steady downpour. And then this is what happens. Our carport, as you can see from here, you see the wet line all the way into there. That's how far up the water went, almost up to our door. You can see the wet line up there, almost up to our door, where the drain was trying to accept the water that couldn't accept the water. Where does it go? Around the house, down into the house. This is the path of the water. This is our flower bed. You really can't see a lot from it from the video. The water actually goes on the back side of that wall runs through the wall, which we built up through the years to try to protect it. It's built up on that end, on the high end up here. Right here, it's washed away. So now we have a river that runs down behind the flower bed to the backyard. You can see from that how much it's washed out. It was almost up to that tree right there last night. As you can see, our flower bed is full of mud where it washes everything away. And you can see the wash patterns right back through there. Now that water follows a path. It goes down through here. And as you can see, we had a river right through here. All the pine needles were gone. This is the other part of the flower bed. We can't keep this one up at all. The water comes through here like a river. This is my backyard. As you can see, the water comes from around the front through here, wide open. Even through the flower bed, it floods it all. Portions of it run down through holes that are in the ground, wash holes where this is washed for so many years, and it goes under my deck. It's gonna wash my deck away. And as you can see, there is a block right there that I put there when we built this deck. It doesn't even touch the wood anymore. It's washed away my support for my deck. As the water flows, gets heavier, it comes all the way over to here, to where I'm standing right now. And it washes as a fan across the whole yard. 
it fans out. As you can see there, we can't keep grass or any topsoil because the water comes down with such force. There's nothing here now but roots and red dirt. No topsoil left. We've put topsoil on this multiple times. We can't keep any. Here's under the deck. Okay? This deck was built up with dirt up to this brick right here. It was built up to that. You can see how far the wash down. That's a good three inch drop. And last night, well, last few days as we've had rain, every time, here we go. This washes all the way down to my basement door. Now, I'm going to take you to where the water actually comes from. Back across my, my carport here. Once the water starts down the hill, it floods this, this flower bed. I'm going to flip this over so you can get a wider view. All the way down from here up, which is probably about a 15 to 20 foot area up to that mud mark there. The water cascades over the wall, just like a waterfall. And it's a 10 to 15 foot cascade of water across this wall, across my driveway, down into that drain, and the drain will accept it the best that it can, but it can only handle so much water. It's not designed for that. The water comes down this hill. And as you can see, probably can't see from this video, there is a hole there. There's a drain up here. This comes from the whole neighborhood right here. You can see how the grass is laid over right in here. The drain is about as stopped up as we can get it, but it is shooting water. You can't see from the scale here. It's shooting water out of this hole foot to 18 inches high out pouring okay this drain goes all the way up the road all the way up to that second mailbox and then all the way up to that next home all the water from the neighborhood comes down those two drains and ends right here in my yard and if you look down this hill you can see the indention that the water makes We've built this up multiple times because we've got sinkholes here. Because this water forces itself under the ground and it will come out and wash out the dirt and we have sinkholes. We have put truckloads of dirt on this to try to keep it built up, to keep it from washing away our whole yard. This hill right here was not this sharp last year. It's washed the dirt out from underneath the grass just washed it out and it makes a hard left turn right through here and you can see the mud see where see see the wash holes where it comes under the ground and it busts out here this is what's causing sinkholes in our yard there's another one another sinkhole started right there another one right here tons of dirt washed out of the ground last night. And you can see the path of the water down through there, all the way down. On this end, it's staying okay built up, but that end down there washed it all away, down towards the end of that. The water goes two places. It goes to the left, and part of it goes to the right, because this has begun to sink down again. So the water is running that way, and then into the flower bed down there, and then it runs down the driveway right here. There's also sinkholes that's been caused by all this water on our driveway. As you can see, our driveway is cracked. It's broken, it's sinking down. The video probably doesn't show a very good picture of it. Eventually, this driveway is gonna fall in. Um, probably, I will be in a car, hopefully when it does fall in. If you go down through the yard there, past that tree, more sinkholes where water flows out 
was running underneath of our driveway from this water up here, all the way up here. It works its way through holes from the force of the water. When you're talking about roughly 150 yards or more of uh, water line under the, under the uh, ground, working that amount of water, water flow down through here, it's going to force its way through wherever it can go. It goes into my yard. I filled in a sinkhole there last year and the year before with a truckload of dirt to protect our home. My lawnmower fell into a hole. 